Sometimes when things are really trashy, it just feels nostalgic. Don't shade your face, it's gonna grow back more. No, it's not. I love that. I said, mm -hmm. yeah, what's in the <laughs> <laughs> that means that it's emulsifying. I cut it off. Yes, I did it. But if we see any of our sisters at the local Walmart wearing a <laughs> helmet of salvation. Come see chaos. Some things are just really, really ghetto and really, really great. What up? Good morning. It's Saturday. Welcome to a new vlog. My hair is a mess. It needs to be washed. <laughs> I woke up today at before six o'clock. I mopped, cleaned, cooked. And I'm, I didn't tell you, but my closet fell apart. The rod with all of my clothing fell apart. Got stuff behind me. All my clothing fell apart. The rod fell apart, excuse me, because my clothes are too heavy. And I thought I was doing a good job of, of getting, you know, giving things away because it's just too much. But clearly I have not been doing a good job at that because the amount of clothes on the rod is too much. So it fell. It fell a week ago and I've been trying to figure things out. And then the other day I said, you know what, let me just get some wardrobe racks. Basically I went and got another one of these. These are the clothes that I need to shoot with. That's why it looks like that, disregard. But I went and got two more of these to put in my closet. I said, let me just use those temporarily until I get this fixed. Well, I spent hours clearing things out, setting it up, putting all the stuff on there to find that the actual wardrobe rack is not sturdy enough to fit all of my stuff. I bought two of them. Like, both of them were collapsing over. Collapsing over. <laughs> two o'clock right now, and I've been doing things since 7 a.m. Folding laundry, doing laundry, just ordered groceries, put the groceries away, dishes, this, this, this. I've been doing so much, and I actually have work to do that I haven't even been able to do because I've been doing all of this stuff. Let me just show you what I got going on. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Come see chaos. Come and see chaos. This is all of my stuff just on top of one another. <laughs> wow. And then here we are in the closet. So this is my side of the closet and I got some shoe boxes up there, sandals. I don't know what to do with it. The, the other side of the closet is my husband's side, but this is just stuff and then my laundry basket. So this is all my side. <laughs> And it may look like this is okay, but it's not because this is broken. This is broken. This was actually on the floor, but since I cleaned, since I took all the stuff off, it's no longer on the floor and I was able to just put it back in here, but it's obviously not stable. I need this to be fixed because I need my closet because what I thought was going to be a workaround for right now, a temporary workaround is not gonna work. I don't feel like waiting on another wardrobe. I just actually need this to be fixed <laughs> so that I can put my stuff back up. But dang, I have a lot of things. And I was just saying too, like, what are people doing who buy all this stuff? The thing is, I am not a hoarder. I do not believe in hoarding things. I hate the idea of hoarding. I do know that hoarding can be a sickness for some people. Thank God I don't have that sickness. I'm very much into getting rid of things, cleaning. I just can't tolerate stuff like that. Uh, all of this to say that I need to figure this whole closet thing out. <laughs> and I'm watching, what is her name? From head to curve, but what's her real name? Gosh, I think, I don't know her name. I Girl, I just started following you maybe a month ago. So I guess I don't even, not even I guess. I hate when people talk with, and they're not sure. I know what I'm saying. I don't know her name, hold on. What is her name? Girl, what's your name? Oh my gosh, I don't know her name. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm watching From Head to Curve, and she's in Houston, and she's talking about this room is a mess, clean with me, which is so funny because my closet is a mess, kind of. It's cleaned up now, but it fell apart. <laughs> so I'm listening to her talk about how she got to clean her closet, and here I am, need to wash my hair, still in my pajamas because I got up and I was just going. That's just how I am. I just got to go. I, I just have so many things I got to do. And then... So yeah, I printed off my return situation. UPS going to come pick up those two wardrobes. Bless his name. And we're going to have to find something else. Find something different. I got my iced coffee going. I <laughs> I shaved my face yesterday. If you know, you know. Instagram. Watch my IGTV series. Or just look, go to my page. It's there. Shave with me. You'll watch the video. Ooh, what is this? I'm gonna wash my hair today, obviously, do my hair. I finally wanna bleach my wig. I bought this wig so long ago. It needs to be bleached. And some nice lightness for the 
summertime. I have a fun trip coming up. It's an overnight situation. It is my first ever brand trip. Can you imagine? I thought that because of COVID, I didn't know if I would ever get to go on a brand trip. These were really hot for a while and then COVID happened. This is my first one. It's a staycation in here, but I'm so excited about it. So I can't wait. I'm gonna take y'all along with me. It's at the tail end of the week, which is the tail end of the vlog. So I'm going to make it its own video just because yeah, it just makes the most sense that way. So yeah, I look forward to that. I got a lot going on. I'm finally gonna have a photo shoot this week because there have been some changes with that. I was doing in shoots and then in-home in shoots, but I need to do a city shoot, but the weather and then I had to cancel last week and then whatever. So that's supposed to happen on Tuesday. Hopefully the weather behaves because it's cloudy slash rainy all week. Yeah, and I'm treating this pimple right here on my chin. We're gonna see how that gonna go. This is my got to be. This is how the got to be looks after a while. And to be honest, I don't, when I do my, my pullback look, I don't tie it down at night because there's just no need to do that. But with the, with the pullback look, it's a two day look. And I've mentioned that before, it's a two day look. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up so I know that you enjoy these vlogs. If you are my text community, what up gang gang? If you're not, join the text community. The link is in my description box. If you're watching on the TV, grab your phone real fast, iPad, computer, just take a look at that link. Anyone can join. All you gotta do is just click the link, add me to your contacts, and you're in. I was supposed to post a video on Tuesday and I don't know what happened. Like it just got, it just got ahead of me. What, how do you say it? My life got ahead of me? Life got ahead of me? Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I just, yeah. The face is so... You know, just... Anyway, happy Saturday. I gotta do some stuff, and then we gonna talk. show you some goodies that i'm gonna be trying out la mer sent me this box first of all it's just so beautiful cannot wait to open it up and see what's going on in there and then i got this from prime beauty prime beauty sent me those are some sh flats from miss lola really cute prime beauty sent me some goodies that i cannot wait to try out i oh right this one got crushed Ooh, i gotta be careful okay well love the names first of all sac passe trini dancehall love it okay yadi <laughs> how you say <it>? yadi <laughs> love that okay beijing a okay cannot wait to try that those are some eyeshadows that i've had for too long that I'm clearing out. I wanna show you that in one second though. And here's some other goodies. Urban Decay, The Goat, Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray All Nighta. I'm gonna be doing some fun stuff with that soon. And this eyeshadow from them as well. Well, two of these that they sent me. So Urban Decay, thank you for that. Also got this. I know what this is, but just have not seen it from them. This is basically a red color. Are we focusing? Hold on. This is a red color, okay? And it's a color corrector. It looks like a liquid lipstick. And you may have seen people do videos where they literally used a red liquid lipstick to color correct. And you can do that, but this is a product for color correcting. And I don't color correct, but I do plan to show you how to use it. If you have dark spots, and or just want to know how to color correct. And I got some brushes from Sigma. I kept these two and I put the other ones in my giveaway drawer. Which so I have a gloss from Sigma. I want to be trying a mascara from a mascara from Lawless. We got an Urban Decay face primer and a Perversion mascara. They also have these tinted products. Are these called? I want to say tinted moisturizer, but you know they have a different name. Tinted Glow Hydration. Yeah, it's a tinted tinted moisturizer. Awesome. And these what? These are the Prime Beauty. Yeah, loose powders from Prime Beauty, and this is what some kind of I think this is a well, it's a bronzer, okay. And then I also have this Sigma eyeshadow palette, just complete neutrals, you know. But you can never go wrong with too many neutrals. Hello, so I look forward to using that. I'm I I going to I'm going to use these in the next few days. Like I, this is, I have this stuff here as a sore reminder because when I walk into my room, I see it, my studio, I see it. I need to use these things. Mac sent me these liquid lip colors. Listen, I freelanced at Mac, man. So to be on Mac's PR, it's a big deal to me. I think it's pretty cool. Oh, I thought it slid open. 
I thought it slid open. You open it this way. But there are so many in here. They look really great. So I, lip swatch videos are so, anyone who does videos and understands, lip swatch videos are a thing. But I do want to use some of these. So needless. None, nonetheless, I'm going to get use of this soon, of course. And then Makeup Forever Water Tone Skin Perfecting Tint. We have some tinted moisturizers. Three options, two of which are not going to work. So I hope that the one on the far right does work and a cool looking brush and a sponge. Looking forward to that. That's part of what I want to try out. Oh, come on. Let's get you to close down. This box feels really good. Like, I don't know. It's it's a special kind of material, not just your regular, not your regular standard cardboard. All right. And then Juvia's Place sent this beautiful package. Love it. The bronzers. And I believe they're, I haven't even looked at this actually. So I'm looking, I mean, outside of seeing it online, I myself have not opened up my package yet. So let's do it right now. Come on now. Uh-oh, this stuff is going to fall down. I can't even do it. See, it's just too much. Let's open this up. Oh, yes, we have the three different bronzer options. And these are, are these liquid lip, liquid lipsticks? Okay, they're shorter. I was thinking of something longer. These are lip glosses. Aha, uh -huh, this is an eyeshadow palette. I knew it, right? Yeah, this is an eyeshadow palette. And this is a liner. Is it an eyeliner? Not sure. I'm going to see. But this looks gorgeous. Let me know if you want to see a video on this by itself. Because what I'm planning to do is just use it in a video that's a new, testing new products video, basically, is what I'm planning to do. I also want to show you this robe. Hopefully my hands are not dirty. This robe is white and so plush and beautiful. I got it because of oh, my dear friend, Tiff Benson. She posted a sponsored IG story set and she already had this on. So she teased us and she did a great job. So I was like, yo, need that robe. So when she finally did the whole situation, I was like, bam, need that. And I ordered it from QVC. So beautiful. Haven't used it yet because it just looks so cute how they bundled it. I'm like, wait, <laughs> how did you do this? I want to do it like when I'm <laughs> when I'm not wearing it. I don't know, but it looks sexy. I can't wait to use that. And then I showed y'all on IG stories. Listen, I'm hydrating my feet. I don't have time for this. I'm about to do these like twice a week or more. I don't know. I bought a pack of these on Amazon. Fantastic. And Loops sent these masks over for the lip and the face. So I put it here to remind myself that one of these days this week, I got my nails done already, did it myself in last week's vlog, put my robe on. I'm going to hydrate my feet, put a face mask on. I'm really just to luxuriate, you know. Fresh Beauty sent this PJ set over. I need to open it up. I hope it fits me. I like my PJs to be oversized. I haven't opened it yet, but thank you to Fresh. I want to see. And then something else came in. <laughs> I still need to wash my hair. We haven't gotten it yet. It's been a long day, okay? This from Sephora Squad. It's a yearbook. At first I was like, wait, we never met in person. So what pictures would they put in here? But of course, they took pictures from our campaigns and just different things. But this is just so sweet. It's a letter to us and then it has in alpha order, all of us Sephora Squad members. And mine is over here, M. Menadubia. I love that. So you know I was in Sephora Squad 2020 and I'm continuing on in 2021 as a launch partner. I'm still on the squad. I just helped with the launch. Love this. I have this, what, what do you call it? GIF, GIF. I haven't even been using it. That's trifling. Trifling. And then in the end, similar to how you would sign a yearbook when you're in high school or when you're graduating, we wrote or emailed in a note to the squad and mine is up here. I really hope that this year we actually get to meet in person and have the in-person event or events that we were supposed to have, but because of the situation, we weren't able to. I really do hope we get to meet in person, but this is just so cute. So many cool things that they've given us over the year that you just gotta keep because it just reminds you of this awesome opportunity. All right, it is getting late. I have been up and at it for uh, such a long time, I'm sitting here like, man, did I even rest today? Sundays and Saturdays and Fridays are ideally supposed to be my days off. Oh, missed my contact. They're ideally supposed to be my days off, but it doesn't always happen because I have a lot to do. I'm tired. I'm going to go take out my contacts, wash my hair, shower, and try to relax. Although there's always something to do, but it's not healthy to not 
to not factor in rest, right? Tomorrow's church, going to the nine o'clock service. Is this the less populated service, which I enjoy? I can sit freely with space, nobody around me. And you know, now you don't have to wear a mask in Texas anymore. <sighs> like what? I mean, it been like that, but you know, the vaccinated people and you know that I'm vaccinated, but it's not like you're having to present some kind of a confirmation of that. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Anyway, church tomorrow and then honestly and truly I need to rest, but I have work to do. So they ain't gonna be no rest tomorrow. So I'm gonna take this evening as my rest. All right, I'm gonna check back in with you. in the mirror i've taken i've finished drying my hair and now it's time to you know depending on how much time i have if i do this in the nighttime then i will just leave it on my head overnight or if i do it during the day and i don't have any plans to go anywhere or to film or go anywhere important where i need my hair done i'll just leave the wraps on for 24 hours maybe a little bit longer than that but because i need to film today i sat under the dryer to expedite the drying process let's take this off i did put oil in my hair like i use this not oil, but you know it was a grease. <laughs> it's grease, basically. Because I know that I do a lot to my hair, especially the, the front. It breaks, but to me, it's hair. It grows back. I don't care about that. And I'm natural, so I feel like I have a lot more leeway to mess around with my hair than I did when it was relaxed. Whatever. So yeah, I'll I'll link the product that I used. Well, I can't think of it right now. It's like hair fertilizer. It's from Nigeria. I'll link it below. I like how it it's, has a cooling to, what's it called like a menthol effect to it and i feel like it's working so yeah i have a few different hair grease products that i use okay when you have it stuck on your hair like that okay which can happen in some places i'll show you what i do it's real ghetto and i love it so much because it works you know some things are just really really ghetto and really really great at the same time simultaneously okay when you're taking it off, take it off in the direction you laid the hair. So don't take it off going in this direction because why, right? But uh, let's see, I have this little small mirror right here. Let's take this out so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, now you have some flakes right here and all of that, right? Oh, this I can just pull like that. Okay, boom. Oh, see, I didn't do what I told you to do. <laughs> I pulled in the opposite directions. Now I have a hair. Can you see that hair right there? I, I want it to all be slicked back, so that's a little annoying to me. Okay, now with the little pieces that are white, take a little bit of your spit, okay? It's yours. Or you can get some water, but I'm not about to get up, okay? Why my face? Oh, just my product. Okay, so take a little bit of this and just go over it. You just need to wet it. <laughs> And I don't know what else to say. And I just like to do it in the most trashiest fashion possible. Because sometimes, sometimes when things are really trashy, it just feels nostalgic. And it just really works. 
Changing fingers, of course, because what I don't want is to taste the product. Hello, toxicity. <laughs> Hello. That's a gray hair, so that ain't gonna go anywhere. And I have a gray hair right here too. <laughs> so you can't confuse crust with gray hair. Imagine, that's like a problem. Okie doke, yeah, there's one gray hair right here. Do you see it? And it's short too, because I've cut it. Well, not cut it, I've plucked it. I normally pluck my gray hairs because I don't be having time. Got a little bit of peeling going on. What's, what's happening today? What? What is happening? It's strange. Let me show you what I do with the peas when there's paper. Same thing, you just have to wet it to then be able to lift up the paper, but peel it off in the direction you've laid your hair down. Don't go the opposite way. Oh, look, I just got it. Don't go the opposite way. You're gonna mess up your layage. And then I got a little bit of crust. It's not crust, it's just like flakes, you know? It just happens a little bit, not a lot. That's a gray hair. And yeah, now I'm not opposed to being gray. You know, it's just life and I'm okay with it. I just, similar to when I did my foot peel on IG, which if you're not following on IG, on IG you need to be following on IG. Make sure you watch my stories as well. They're shorter versions of these long weekly vlogs. I am the kind of person just needs to clean and fix things all of the time. And when it comes to my body, if I have some sort of a bump, pimple, scab, I'm gonna pick it. I just don't, I'm not gonna just keep on passing by and seeing it there and not do something about it. So when it comes to the gray hair, if this were a patch of gray hair, fine. I would leave it and embrace my stripes. But since this is just one random right there, I just cannot continue looking at it. I see a line of demarcation because I might, I had that head tie on. Let me push back my skincare so I don't be looking weird. Just tapping it into my hairline area some more. But I don't wanna be, I just, anyway, what I was saying is that I can't, I can do what I want, right? We can all do whatever we want, but I get annoyed and I just, just looking at it like there like that, just, just sticking there like that. It's just chilling right there. Like that's a problem for me. Let me show you it. You see it? I know you do. It's right there. And then you're gonna be like, don't pick it. It's gonna grow back more. No, it's not. It's like shaving my face. Don't shave your face. It's gonna grow back more. No, it's not. You've seen me week to week, day to day, and I don't look like a werewolf. I look like myself. So when it comes to the gray hair, it don't grow back more, it just grows back. And then I pluck it. It's like eyebrows. You you groom your brows. When it grows back in areas you don't want it, you pluck it and then it grows and then you pluck it. It's the same thing. You see what I'm saying? So here I am, I'm about to pluck it out. Oh, and this is so satisfying. That was so satisfying. I know. I did my, my foot peel. People were like, don't peel it. Girl, I'ma peel it, okay? I'ma do what I wanna do, you know what I'm saying? Just like you gonna do what you wanna do, I'ma do what I wanna do, and we gonna just be doing it. Everybody, everyone gonna be doing what they wanna do, you see what I'm saying? Okay, these hairs are just stuck up, and they're not laid down, I just plucked it. That is so wild. I know you're probably cringing, but it's hair, listen. When my hair was relaxed and long, down to about here, and I cut it, some people were losing their minds. I'm like, why are you losing your mind? It's hair, it goes back. Thank God my hair goes back, so I'm not opposed to just cutting it off. And one day, y'all gonna find it like this, and it's not gonna be because my hair is laid back, it's gonna be because I cut it off. Like, look at that, look at that side profile. I can rock a short look. Can't you see? Can you not see? You understand what I'm saying? Like, look at that, I love it. It's just fierce. So, I love my hair being short, I've cut my hair all off twice. When I was in high school, going to college, I cut my hair all off and grew locks. I had locks for almost two years. They were long as well and I bleached the ends. It was so beautiful. And I cut it off because I wanted a new look. I wanted the Fantasia, you know, tapered curl situation because she was on American Idol and I wanted my hair like hers. And I cut my hair off in my dorm room. I have been thinking about it and then I just said, forget it. I cut it off and everybody was like, are you kidding me? And I'm like, yes, I did it. And then I cut my hair all off five, six years ago i was getting the relaxer weekly you know appointments roller set took me an hour it, it, my hair was so long it would take a long to dry all the stuff and i loved it. my hair it was full it was beautiful it started to break toward the end at the ends of my hair and i was like you know what bump this i'm ready for something new anyway i want to try this natural thing and i was like bump it i'm doing it and i just cut my hair off by myself i didn't do a good job obviously i didn't do a good job it was a it was a it was a botched job but then i went and got it trimmed the right way and i kept it low i'll insert a picture if i can find it and i loved it i was doing the whole gel roll it up type thing i had it tapered and like i said look at the frame i can rock a short do certain heads certain faces can rock it and I know that I can that's why I love my hair pulled back it's a very clean look and it reminds me when my hair was short granted when my hair was short it wasn't relaxed so it wasn't flat like this it was tapered on the side and it was a TWA it was more curly and whatever right but it was so easy and sexy 
it was just everything. So one day I'm gonna go back to that. I really am. I love, you know, I love trying new things. The only thing is then I'm limited to, yeah, I can do the wigs, but then I can't do crochet and braids. Although I don't do those very often. Anyway, things that I think about, I love a change. I love it, makes me very happy. And that's that. Awesome, fantastic. I'm about to do some work. And I'm a the last one who said, guess that didn't have so, okay, me didn't have so, mommy, just three pieces, four pieces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then say, hey, I'm praying in the car one more. I said, you are washing your Wait, what? I'm going to go on a messy. Right, sir. I said, you are washing what? And the air squeezing. The air hanging on my dry. Wait. Wait. Uh, How can you hang macaroni to dry? How can I do that? No, no, no. Say you the say. Egg roll. Oh. But could be. Like sushi? No, 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 no. Wait. What the way if I say egg roll? Okay. I'll say a roll. One more day. And then I'm going to say the same. Yeah, then I get in there. I know I'm going to see the table. Not so fast. Mm-hmm. Mina, it's like a rock. Okay. Yeah, this is so. They got me some of my wedding. So no one even donkey on the party. And no one even donkey. God of mercy. We don't send me bare feet. The lady has to be bread. I come with the baby to me now. Wait. This is a brand new baby. Ice cream. Uh-huh. Two slices of bread. God of mercy. Now she has a. So you have to send me. What? Wait, 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 You came home to eat. Wait, first of all, first of all. Oh my god. The macaroni. When you say the macaroni was like they washed it, what are you? The pana will patch it. Like it didn't have any flavor. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yes, spring roll. Yes. Oh, okay. It's spring roll. The man was ah. Send me a spring roll. Now we see car. We now we start it to run and run. It's a yeah. No, see ah. We plenty of spring roll. We are into me for that. Into me now. I'm not saying I do. Into me you. When they are still ready. Oh, come on. <laughs> what? Oh, God of mercy. Here's an update on my closet. So I put all my extra hangers. I bought so many hangers from Amazon because again, all of this was full of stuff, but <laughs> I've put away winter things. Okay, so this like total sweaters and stuff down there, jeans and workout gears, more winter type things, pants and stuff. And then these are summer going out type things in here. And my rationale was because this is broken and it really just makes the most sense anyway, is to put away in bins things that I'm not using on a daily basis. And then I'm keeping out a small number of things that I might touch on a daily basis. I work from home. So unless it's a photo shoot or a lunch or something, I'm not getting dressed. So, and it's also summertime. So this actually was a blessing for this to break so that I could really condense stuff. And I took out a lot of things that I'm giving away. But yeah, this is what, and then this is an extra bin. Walmart delivered these to me when I did my Walmart grocery pickup. I did the two hours or less and you, I paid extra $10, an extra $10 from the sent it to me to bring it to me. And I don't know if it was an accident. I could have sworn I bought three, but I could have bought four or maybe they just gave me this. There's no top to it. I don't know. 
whatever it's here i have all these extra hangers and i like these hangers these are really good hangers they're velvet they're white and then the metal is rose gold they're really cute i'm gonna keep them because they're beautiful eventually i'll use them for something i just don't know what this is the swimsuit that i picked up at walmart the other day when i was there if you saw my ig stories i'll wear it it's family friendly i'll wear it to time okay i'm about to shower and i wanted to show you this pharmacy cleansing balm that i showed you last week so before i went to go take me to school I put on SPF because you need to, right? But I'm about to shower right now because I just worked out. And let me just show you, even though oh, my ears are bothering me, these are annoying. Even though I have on SPF, I'm not gonna cleanse my face. We talked about this, right? So take your cleansing balm. You need to break down the SPF first before you wash your face with your cleanser. I just wanted to show you because last time we talked about it, but I didn't show it to you. So it's gonna look like you put oil on your face. Um, that's just the consistency of this rubbing it around now i'm gonna rinse this in the shower but i wanted to show you what i meant by it getting milky i got water on my hands and look literally all i did was take water on my hands and i'm just shaking it off so it's not drip on me and this becomes milky so look this is my hand with just the oil it's just oily and now look it becomes milky. That means that it's emulsifying. And then you rinse this off. Now this has broken down the SPF. Then you use your cleanser. So I'm gonna go shower and do all of that. I just tried the Fenty Beauty body butter. It was sent to me, which thank you Fenty for sending it. And there's a bit of a difference between that and the Josie Marin one. They're both whipped body. Ugh, it's over there, I should've gotten it. Let me not misquote it. I don't know if it's argan oil body butter. Anyway, it's the Fenty Whip Whipped Body Butter. I like it. Now, it does have a different slip than the Josie Marin one. So this Fenty one, it's almost as if once you blend it, once you rub it into your skin, it turns into an oil because it just, it's more slippery, but not in a bad way. It's just noticeably more slippery, whereas the Josie Marin one is just straight up thick. And I have dehydrated skin. So dry skin is evidenced by patches, flakiness. I don't have anywhere in my body where I have patches and flakiness. I have dehydrated skin. It just be kind of dry. You understand? So it's dehydrated, it needs more water. And both of those moisturizers are perfect because I have dry skin. Like even in the summertime, I mean, I'm gonna use my in shower moisturizer. If I'm still gonna be outside, like let's say I'm by the pool or something, maybe the in shower moisturizer by itself might be okay. But if I'm gonna be indoors somewhere, I'm definitely still going to use a cream of some sort. Even if it's just on my hands, my knees, my feet, I just have to get it in certain places because I just can't be dry. This is the first AB nice in my dark spot serum. So yeah, this thing is done. Oh, I only have a little left. Okay. So yeah, I like the, the whipped the whipped butter from Fenty. It's really nice. It has a nice slip to it, still leaves you shiny. Soft scent. It's not like the skincare where the scent was more pronounced. This scent is definitely soft. I like fragrance though, so either way is fine with me. But have you tried the whipped body butter from Fenty or Josie Marin? And do you plan on trying it? I wanna know. Doing my skincare, I have a lot of work to do. Oh man, I forgot to do my, my acne treatment on my chin. See that? Talking too much. We said we were gonna do that, right? You know what, bump it. I'm gonna put it on top. You know what? I'm gonna put it on top. The world ain't gonna come to an end. This is Peace Out Acne Serum. I started using it, it's almost done. It's got 2% salicylic acid in it. Putting some of my, that's a lot. I put some on my, my hands, fingers, and just rubbing it. So when you're treating your acne, treat it just where it needs to be. I don't have acne on my cheeks, so why would I go put this there? Why would I want that to go there? I don't need it there. My forehead has a little bit of something, something going on. Ideally, you'd put this on before another serum, but if you have sensitive skin or you want to avoid any kind of irritation, they told me that this is not supposed to give you any irritation. I haven't had any irritation, but if you wanna be careful, definitely put on something beforehand and then put on the acne treatment. But my skin is pretty resilient and I haven't been having any issues with it. I want that to dry. I took so much. I want it to dry before I use anything else. So here's my fan, this handy dandy fan. It comes in handy when doing makeup and skincare. And I want this to dry so that 
it's not spreading all over my face. I want it to stay right here. It's not going to be the end of the world, but the whole point, what I'm trying to share with you, is targeted skincare. So put your stuff where you need it. The Dark Spot Serum, I could have ideally just put it, this cheek looks really clear. I could have just put it here, but I like it and it's hydrating, so why not put niacinamide all over? But this one in particular, keeping it in the chin, just because it just makes the most sense because that's where I get my hormonal acne breakouts. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. So if you get breakouts on your chin, I want you to comment and let me know. Now I'm gonna do a vitamin C. So this is Youth to the People, vitamin 50%, vitamin C, clean caffeine, energy serum to brighten. This title is mad long. <laughs> okay, putting this on. And this I'm gonna put everywhere because why not? Vitamin C can and should go everywhere. These are products that are gonna help even out fine lines, brighten the skin, take care of dark, dark I don't wanna say dark spots, <laughs> my accent, dark spots, yeah, that. Yep, I always bring my skincare down to my hands, absolutely. And now we are gonna move on to moisturizer. I'm almost done with this. You know, I like to finish what I have. I don't like to waste. This is the SPF Super Goop, excuse me. This is the Super Goop. SPF 50. That looks like so much, but we've been here before. We've been around the world, and nah, yeah, yeah. It's going to absorb. I'm not gonna do my makeup right away. So the key with your skincare is you might be like, that is so much product. Are you kidding? What am I supposed to do with all that? You want to let your skincare products absorb into the skin. So I'm not gonna go right away and go do my makeup, no. I need to check my email, I need to set up my table, all of this, and then I'm gonna lay my hair down a little bit in the front because it's a little bit curly. As you can see, it just got a little bit frizzy overnight and that's just, that's normal. So I'm gonna do all of that, and by the time I finish, the skincare should have absorbed a good amount so that it's not just on top of my skin. Because if you go into your makeup right away, you might see some strange things happening between all of the products and you don't want that so give yourself some time if you are asking about how many minutes maybe 15 20 minutes if you can if you can't just use less products then i guess but don't skip out on your spf and this happens to be an spf moisturizer i know that some dermatologists prefer that the spf be a standalone product and not a moisturizer maybe they feel like it dilutes it a bit i like this one and i think my skin likes it too what do you think? Mm -hmm. Let me know. And what I mean by laying my hair down a little bit, because it has lifted just a smidge, taking my pick, whoa, I'm done. I need to buy more. Actually, I have a whole carton in the closet. Let me chill out. I have a whole, I have a whole, you know I'm gonna stack up. You know I'm gonna stack up. And this is the hair fertilizer that I've been using. I don't be diligent about it like I should, but I like how it has a menthol feel to it. And I think it works. It's from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Virgin Beauty Industries. Yes. Hi. So what I'm going to do to lay, lay down my hair. This hair, I did it yesterday, early, and then today. So this is going to get washed out tomorrow. That's what I mean. This is a two-day look because it's going to start looking old and crusty. Look, it's even frizzy back here. I didn't let it dry. Whatever. It's all good. Because listen, when I film, you're going to see the front profile. You're going to see the side. So the side don't matter. You feel what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yes. So this is the black got to be glue. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean by it being a two-day look is usually, as I'm doing right now, I need to apply a little bit more. Jeez, got to be in the front. Just to, I like everything to be laid down. Again, if my hair is laid down, let's lay all of it down, not just some of it. And when you reapply the got to be, you're going to have some problems. Like, look at that little white. Now I'm going to lay it, and it should know, dissipate. <laughs> but... We gonna see. And I already showed you what to do if it don't dissipate. Zay, I can't even get this out. I do have the got to be spray. It's just in my studio. Dang it, I wish I had it right here so I can just spray this down and then see if that's gonna work. If I use gel, it's gonna take far too long for this to actually lay down. Gel is water-based and if you're in a rush or you just don't wanna wait too long for your hair to dry, gel is not what you need. You need something that dries fast and this dries fast. So I'm just gonna dig out what I can. There's usually always some. Oh wow, I really have gotten in here. Okay. See, this is why you can't have long nails doing stuff like this. Okay, I got a good amount. I wanna just lay down back here. It ain't gonna lay right away, but when I put my head sign, again, I just need the profile. 
to be laid down. All of the rest, all of the rest can just sit right there. It just is what it is. I just need to know that when I look straight, everything is laid down. I just love this slick back look. This is my easy go-to look. The slick back, <laughs> you can't tell me nothing, okay? Tying this in the back, see the curls? I can't do it. I ran out, I didn't have enough yesterday when I was doing my hair, that's a problem. If I had enough, it wouldn't be like that. Whatever. Oh, look at my pants. Oh my God, okay, I'm gonna just take my actual hair tie. Then I'm gonna link below two for you in case you need these. I've been asked about this so much. I finally found them on IG, excuse me, on, on Amazon. The big head wraps, dang it. Whatever, I wanna tie it now before, whatever, okay. This looks a little bit janky right now. <laughs> Is it down? Whatever, girl. Listen, and I'm not opposed to just trimming those curls. Look, like, I will literally, if I take this off when I'm ready to start filming and I still see those curls and it bothers me, I will literally just trim it. Again, we've had this discussion. For me, my hair is just hair. And I'm not, I'm not married to it. I'm not married to it. We're just dating. Not even dating. We're just talking. All right, today I'm in the mood for Maison Margiela Replica Jazz Club. Oh, so, so good. This is gonna last me forever, okay. Look at this cute necklace combo that I got from Amazon. Come on, Amazon, it's nice and beautiful. And I'm not sure if you can wear this in the water. You know, those necklaces that are really affordable, fashion jewelry basically, that you can wear and it get wet and it won't tarnish. I don't remember if this is it, but I'm gonna link it below in case you want it. I love it. I got A for I to be a, I kind of want to get more. <laughs> I'm that kind of person. We talked about this. If I like it, I'm gonna get it like, I'm gonna get a lot. <laughs> I'm setting up right now to film and <sighs> cutting my papers. If you know me, I like to be clean and organized and it's just to have it from being a makeup artist, having tissue. I use, I call everything tissue. It's like how Ghana for we call everything pompous. And uh, yeah, pompous, for pompous in a bra, but it could be huggies, it could be great value, it could be whatever, right? Okay, anyway, I cut my tissue because it's very important. Im important. <laughs> Importante. Ooh. I'm going to be doing some fun stuff with the Urban Decay All Nighter makeup setting, long lasting makeup setting spray. And I'm also gonna, I'm doing it for IG stories right now, but I'm going to do a video on YouTube about it. I found out a, a fun trick to help keep your face matte. I do want to get the ultra matte one. As a matter of fact, I need to remind myself to do that, to get the all matte one, the ultra matte one. Hey Siri, remind me tomorrow at 9 a.m. to get Urban Decay setting spray. Okay. Your reminder is set for tomorrow 9 a.m. You know, I don't be using Siri as much as I should. You got all, we got all these, you know, all of this technology. What are we doing with it? We need to use it. We need to use it more often. What's going on my EOS utility? This thing be acting up. I can't stand that. I turn my lights on. Okay, let me turn it off and then turn it back on. I need to film right now. Not tomorrow, now. Oh, dang, that took forever. It came in waves. That came in a wave. Why didn't that come like, boom? It came like a, it just limped into position. Why are we doing that? Why are you limping? This desk got mad stuff on it. There's a lot happening. There's always a lot happening. What's new, huh? Where we at? Okay, I gotta open up my com computer, my app so that I can get myself set up. I got my mic, got my mic check, one, two, one, two, right here. You know, it's on an, it's on an extender. What is it called? Expander? Expand something. I'll link it below in case you want to use it. I used to have the boom pole, which was fine, but I like this because now it's directly in front of me. And excuse me, you can move it back, move it forward, move it up, move it down. It's just fantastic. It's very podcast style. Although I'm not a podcaster, it still is very useful for me. I just gotta make sure it's not in the shot. I gotta make sure that this stuff is not in the shot. Why is my EOS utility not working? This is not the time for it to not be working. Okay, I finished filming and this is my makeup. I don't have any eye lashes on. This is always such an interesting look for me because I love how sleek it is and simple. There's no eye except powder on my eyelids. So it always just makes me look like double take, but I like how clean and fresh this look is. Anyway, my the UPS delivery guy just came and it reminded me that I wanted to do this. I wanted to do this and I'll tell you what this is in a second. I wanted to do this back in at the Christmas season 
for gifts for the delivery people because I order a lot and I get PR and I just want to show appreciation for all the delivery people. But so anyway, with that said, the UPS delivery guy just came and he was picking up something and giving me something. And he, black man, he, he was very sweet. He was sweating profusely. And it's wicked hot outside. It's May in Houston. The heat has turned up. It has cranked up. And I said to him, can I offer you cold water? And he goes, I will not turn down cold water. So I ran and got cold water bottles from the fridge and gave it to him. And I was like, yeah, I know it was COVID, but I want to give it to you. And he was like, thank you so much. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get this. So Maddie James on IG did this over the holiday season. And I believe she does this over the holiday season. But it made me think, you know what? I want to be able to offer this all year round. Because it's usually, all, well, not all year round. It's not always hot. But it's definitely in the summertime, I want to offer this. And this is, I just looked up on, I just spent like 20 minutes looking on Amazon to find the perfect cooler to put water inside of. So what I'm gonna do is order a cooler that has its own table stand type thing and I'm gonna put cold water bottles. We don't use water bottles at home. We just use reusable ones we can wash. But as far as the plastic ones are concerned, we don't use those, it's just whatever. But I'm gonna buy some. I have some in the fridge already. I have a 32 case. I'll just continue to put them in the fridge and then I'll put them out every morning and take it out in the evening time. I'm planning to put a cooler out next to the door and I'm gonna make a sign that says, please take one, thank you so much for like, I don't know, I'll make up something and I'll put it out there so that anyone delivering anything, so it's FedEx, UPS, USPS, and Amazon, so that when they come, they can take a water bottle. I mean, now I think that we're at a point with COVID where people aren't afraid to take something like that, a water bottle. I mean, I don't know. I guess if they don't want to, they don't have to take it. But if anyone is uh, sweaty enough or hot enough, they'll take it. And there are some delivery people that are recurring. So this was one lady with FedEx. She's the sweetest. I've given her so much so far. I, she's great. She's just so sweet, you know, like I've given her like extra candles and whatever. She's just so sweet. But I want to do this because it is sweltering outside and I order and get a lot of packages. So just as a way to appreciate the good folks. So I found this cooler that I'm about to get. And then I love this necklace so much that I went on the site to find a bracelet from the same company and then some earrings. I'm gonna link it below for you in case you want it, but I'm about to purchase that as well, Amazon. So this is gonna come too. But the good thing is I have water in the fridge and I'm sitting here, I can see when folks come and I'll, I'll ask them if they want it. But then when I have this cooler, it'll just be outside. I'll have ice packs inside with the cold water every day so that folks can take it as they please. It is hot outside and these people are working hard. It is hot outside. Just a thought, if you get a lot of packages at home and you can afford it and if you feel so inclined, you know, put a little ice box outside the front of your door. The good people, they deserve it. They're working really hard. edges right now for my wig and listening to the woman evolve podcast we put in the work of creating Oops. a safe girl summer manual okay and i have to put it on the screen because y'all y'all are the best because you don't have to do anything you say if i'm going to be in it i'm going to give 100,000 percent of who i am and the saved girl summer manual is doing just that look at the saved girl so first of all <laughs> I need you all, <laughs> I need you all to watch this podcast back on YouTube or Facebook if you are just listening, okay? Because the Saved Girl Summer Manual opens up with a picture that is only, <laughs> um, it's only, it's only remarkable. It can only be considered <laughs> remarkable. Um, Daisy and Michael says, I love it here. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand how we got here. Can one of you guys text me? Because my email just disappeared. I need the Save Girl Sam Summer Manual in my inbox so that I can go through the rules and regulations of the Save Girl Summer. That picture, I don't even know who 
is that in the cake? We don't know. Mm. Is it Meg? Is there a picture of Meg with the cake? Can you put it back up there? That's somebody. Mm. <laughs> what is wrong with the delegation? Y'all have to see this photo. Yeah, do you listen to the podcast? It's so funny. I don't know who it is Hilarious. originally. It's got to be Meg. Is it not? Well, I'm darker than that now. You said man, you're darker than that. Uh, that ain't me no more either. <laughs> okay, so hold on. Let me see. Let me pull up the manual. This is hilarious. Listen. Save Girls Summer was established in 2021 as a celebration for all the holy hot girls. We are out here drinking our water, minding our business, and living our best vegan-ish lives, okay? We're coming for everything that summer 2020 tried to steal from us, our joy, our health, our fun. Finances and our, our edges. edges. <laughs> our lives are evolving, waste dissolving, and we are going to where the blessings reside all summer 2021. Brittany J. White, well, let me tell you something. You are my friend, okay? The Safe Girl Summer eligibility requirements are very easy. I'm sure so many of you are intrigued. You want to know how do I get there? How am I a part of the Safe Girl Summer? Let me tell you. We are all. Um. Oh, the connection right. issue. So you, uh, yeah, that is hilarious. Right. So whether you are an OG Save Girl or just this is hilarious. With God, all sisters are eligible to join in Save Girl Summer, and that's on what period? <laughs> the only requirement is that you commit to your process of evolving to your best self and pushing and supporting you in your own way. That's it. <laughs> if you find yourself needing to make a complaint about a fellow safe girl's attire that you feel is inappropriate, please contact a team member of Mind Your Business <laughs> and they will assist you. Okay. I love it! Only one rule to our dress code. While we encourage each safe girl to never leave the house without applying the whole armor of God, yeah. we strongly suggest that you leave any and all bonnets, scarves, and Ooh. any other head garments resembling a helmet of yeah. salvation at home. We know the temptation to leave it on while you make a quick store run can be great, but if we see any of our sisters at the local Walmart wearing the helmet of salvation <laughs> or the pajama pants of praise, we <laughs> will be forced to issue you a warning. Oh my God. Okay. This is, <laughs> oh wow, that is clever. Delegation, okay, just real fast, just real fast. <sighs> The Save Girl Summer playlist. Can I just tell you real fast, whether you still have those this anointed knees like our good sis Meg, Meg or had to retire them after Cash Money Records took over for the next Nine 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 what up? How you doing? I was supposed to go on a trip at the end of this week, tomorrow, today's Wednesday, and it's not actually a muscle. It's not going to happen because... The weather is bad. Last night it was bad. I mean, like scary bad. Like fast raging winds. I think there was a tornado, rain, heavy rain, lightning, thunder. Gosh, it felt like the house was going to fall down. So because of all of that, and it's going to rain all week, like all week. So yeah, the trip was rescheduled. So it's not happening tomorrow. So abort mission on that. <laughs> I, I washed my hair yesterday. Why am I doing that? <laughs> anyway, abort mission on that, which is unfortunate. But I was thinking like, yo, it's raining out here. How are we going to really enjoy? Because some of the activities, I believe, was on the grass, you know, outside of the hotel. So yeah, that's no longer going to happen, which is completely understandable. Obvi. Obvi. I'm here uploading content for a campaign. I don't know if you all are familiar with Cut Story. If you are an, if you are a content creator, Cut Story is the app that I use. So when I create my videos, I like to use Final Cut Pro. I do, on occasion, on a small occasion, use InShot on my phone to edit videos. But since I film my sponsored content on either my G7X Mark III, which I'm using right now, or my Canon 90D, which I have a studio tour video on all of this, but I'll link it below as well. I like to take my footage from my professional cameras and put it into my computer and edit that way. It doesn't take space from my phone. I can then use my phone for other things. I just need space. So for instance, I edit my weekly vlogs on my desktop because it's bigger, it's easier, and then it doesn't get into the way of things that I'm doing on my actual laptop, which is editing IG videos 
and YouTube videos, like the regular videos that I post, which I need to get back on doing more regularly. And then my phone, I do other things like IG stories and just like stuff, right? I need my phone to be free. So I edit my IG stories that are sponsored content on my laptop. Is that confusing to you? <laughs> I have a MacBook Air and of course you know I have the external USB which is the one terabyte which gives me a lot more space. So my Final Cut and all of my files to be edited are on that one terabyte disk or SD, what, what, that USB, that thing. They're all on that so that it doesn't bog down the memory on my actual laptop because when your laptop memory is bogged down, things just go really slow. Everything goes slow and I can't have that. So like I said, I was, I, so, okay, I, I, I like to use AirDrop. AirDrop is just easy, it's Bluetooth. AirDrop, it's connected to all my devices. And I AirDrop the, the video. The video was one minute and 15 seconds. I AirDrop it from my laptop to my phone, and then I put it into Cut Story, and then in Cut Story, where is it? It breaks it all, oh, shoot, anyway. It breaks it all down, it chops it. You can decide to chop it into one minute sections or into 15 second segments. And I chopped it into 15 second segments because what I was editing was sponsored IG stories. So once it's all in the 15 second segments, then now I'm uploading it into the platform that I use or the company uses for reviewing the content. Yeah.